model of, of elevator, we have quite a few in service. Um, can't say is we haven't had on occasion hiccups on, in certain buildings that take a little while to iron out because sometimes when you're building and you, you even do a lot of prep to get it running right, there could be the odd thing that comes up, especially in the first you know, months of operation that you know, little hiccups, but uh, they're pretty, once that, you know, if those issues aren't around, they're pretty good, pretty, very few calls. So is there anything maintenance-wise that they should do? Keep the tracks clean, just like you would on any other unit. And a rock, a rock will get stuck. Yeah, there. rock gets stuck door. underneath and the door gets jammed and uh, it'll try a few times and then it'll be shut down. Okay. So that's that's really the easiest easiest thing you can do using also the door hold key when you're moving instead of letting people pile stuff in front of the door to keep it from closing. Okay. Hey, glad you glad you made it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then and then the other thing. Yeah, I'm talking about rocks and like these the sills are quite a bit deeper than they used to be. So it allows for a little bit of dirt down there without impeding the door operation. But if a rock or somebody gets gum in there, that's a good one. Or uh, you know, it, it can eventually uh, cause the door to have problems and not shut completely. So let's say if there was a rock here, it would yeah. try and close, and then does it open and freeze? Well, it, it would try and close. Yes, and it would reopen. It may try again and then reopen. You might try three times and then is it, drop. Is it and then it would just stay like that. Yes, Because I've had a call like that one of our <coughs> doors on the main floor open. Nobody's yeah. in there. Didn't have yeah. it. it could have been just a rock. It could have been. It could have been something in the track that, or you know, that's preventing the door from closing. Mm -hmm. But actually, yes. preventing the lock. Mark, mm -hmm. authorized personnel only. We'll see if we're authorized. That's right. Oh, we are. We are out there. If you have a key. Oh, big room. Big room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody want to get in? Um, yeah. So here's the, the disconnect is right here on the wall. Okay. That would be the extent. I mean, if if you if there was an issue with the elevator, and you know that's the safest bet is to pull that so that nothing happens. Now, if the car is, you know, especially if there's stuck passenger or something, that would. And you feel like there's, you know, smoke or some reason that, or the doors like, you know, doing this type of thing, and you just want it to stop. Mm -hmm. That's how you stop it. Are there any issues starting it up again? Well, um, yeah. I mean, common practice outside of the industry is uh, it doesn't work. Cycle the power back on again. Maybe it'll work now. Uh, and in some cases, yes, it will. Uh, until the next time it gets uh, into the same situation. Um, do we like you to do that? No, because it gives us, it makes it harder for us to find the problem if it's, if you've done that and it's allowed it to take off again and now we're backtracking with an elevator that's running. So it's easier for us to find it while it's, while it's in that state, you know, to have a look at to see where the car physically is in the hoistway and same what switches are made up and which ones aren't. Same as we were talking about with that, uh, with those big switches downstairs. If there's a reason you need to turn that off, you should probably not turn it back on anyway. So it usually uh, requires a professional. The um, the one thing that we that we do on a fairly regular basis, believe it or not, is um, people drop keys down that. Right. Yeah. So no, no, are you guys set up the same way where we call your service line and say, next time you text on site, can you retrieve those keys? Yeah. Leave them in the elevator room? Yeah. Or in our office, I guess, because yes. our office is right on site here now. Yeah. And you guys can do that for us. You don't, don't bill us for that? Uh, no, if it's done during a maintenance, a regular maintenance visit, no, there won't be any. Uh, there won't be any. You have to push on the, this whole piece. Oh, this whole panel, the whole panel slips up, and it's it's got uh, some cables on it to keep it from just like falling to the floor. So you may have to just push it up and slide it to the side. Is G8 up there? Yeah, they're smaller. Yes, smaller. Yeah, I got a crappy copy, but it works. I'm gonna have to get a different. Yep. The two outside panels don't. Uh, no, they don't. Okay. So you can access what you need to from the middle. But I, I did a copy from a.